everybody, I'm Francesca Romano, co-founder and CEO of Atuma, an amazing mobile toolkit to make your smartphones smarter. But why the need for something smarter? Just because, guys, you know that nowadays we are slaves to mobile technology. Every minute in our life is spent uploading your photos on Facebook or making check-in, switching on or off your Wi-Fi, GPS, silent mode, and so on. But today, with Atuma, you can change that game. Let me show you a short video. A two minute touch of magic lets you to create your self-made mini apps in just one minute and without coding at all. And you will have a smartphone that automatically activates your text to speech when driving, for example, to read your incoming email, or switch your Wi-Fi off when you're getting out of home to save the battery. Or what about if you receive a tweet or some kind of alert when your friends are around? Creating Atuma is very, very simple. You have just to set up some conditional event that will define if, that will trigger simple action that will define do. And this is an Atuma. If something happens, do something else. Our amazing, very amazing user interface because we are two designers from the best university designing Italy. Also, the user can publish their Atuma so the other user can download and can join them. Atuma is an award winning startup. We receive a lot of mention, media mention, and a lot of prize in the past months as one of the best context aware applications. But most of all, we have got in just three months 60,000 of beta users without any marketing cost. Now we are here to fundraise, in fundraising for $1 million. We have already raised one, one and, one and a half hundred. And to, to scale our technology, build a massive marketplace of Atuma where the, our Git user base can sell their creation to the others. And also we want to sell some special add-ons in our purchase start to build the app Apple iOS-like version and start to integrate it with smart home automation providers. Thank you very much. I like contextual stuff and I've seen it too much before. It's, um, it's one of the examples of apps that are coming out on Android first because you have more access to uh, the phone dialer and all sorts of fun stuff. Um, I, I'm wondering what the market is for this because I'm hot bothered by it because it's sort of geeky and it's like uh, IFTT. I'm sure lots of other people in here are using that, but I'm not sure how big the market is. It doesn't hit me as the next Instagram, for instance, right? Oh, yeah. But imagine that Atuma would be pre installed in every Android devices and also. What we want to do is uh, embedding APIs of smart home objects. Uh, yes, smart objects for, for the home automation. So also you can manage not only just your mobile world or your application world, but also your home. So are you going to build a marketplace for geeks like me to build yeah. objects for other people? Yes, that's what we want to do. Um, so, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, so. So you mentioned if this and that, um, uh, they're already kind of established in, in this space. Um, how do you foresee you being able to compete with uh, an obvious market leader? Our competitors? Yeah, uh, the main competitors is, is this and that. I mean, everybody knows that this and that, and also Tuma, uh, usually it's mentioned as and it's this and that for mobile in every press release that we have. Uh, because this and that is, for, is a web tool. So uh, the engine of Atuma is totally on mobile, and being mobile for us means to be context aware. So this is the strong key point that Atuma could do, and the other can do, and the other cannot. All right, big round of applause for Atuma.